Well, hey, uh, my name is Willie Lawson. This is the Saxophone Factory. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start the intermediate book. I think in some places it's in 68, uh, the intermediate for, uh, for this intermediate method for the saxophone. Uh, the first few exercises are all warm-up exercises and dynamic exercises. And we're going to go over some of them because some of them are, are important to making sure that we have enough air for phrasing. So we're going to start on page four. Page four. I want to start on page four, number three, if that's okay. Um, before we get into the exercises, I want to get into the page four, number three. Our goal as, as a wind player, as a musician, is to make sure that we play everything as if someone else, someone else is going to be singing it. That's our goal, to play things as if people are going to sing it. The same, we wouldn't play anything differently than someone would sing it. And what we have to get used to is playing what we call four measure phrases. 16 counts um, on, in 4-4 four, four, or 12 counts in 3-4, four, four measure phrases. And what we're going to start here on number three, page four, number three, is a way to play, to, to play all the way through a four-measure phrase. All of these exercises have half notes at differing volumes and a dotted half note at the end with one, one quarter rest by which to breathe in. So this is how we should play... Page four, number three. One, two, ready? <laughs> About dynamics, never play out of control. Always try to play with the best tone you possibly can manage. No matter if you're a stone beginner or you've been playing for 100 years, try to play with the best tone possible and control that tone inside dynamic levels. Now, is there a decimal level for forte or piano? No. Dynamics are relative to each other. Your mezzo forte has got to be quieter than your forte. Your, your mezzo piano has to be louder than your piano. Your piano has to be louder than your pianissimo. You understand. All right, four measure phrases. Page four, number four. Here we go. We're going to play those phrases. We're going to slow down a little bit and make sure we can last the entire phrase. One, two, three. <sighs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
you go. Nice and smooth, at least four measures at a time. We want to get into the habit of being able to play four measure phrases and controlling the sound. The next thing, the next one we're going to do is page five, number one. And we're only going to do page five, number one, because these are all really good warm ups. That exercise can be done in another key. Uh, they, they can be done faster. They can be done slower. But they can be done for five minutes without stopping. All right. Studies and expression. Number five. You can see that there's a crescendo from the beginning. And, and it increases in volume on every note. Until we get to forte. And some, some of them until we get to... to um, Fortissimo. Some people call it double forte. We'll call it by its real name, Fortissimo. Where we rise up in volume and then we descend in volume. Here we go. Page five, number one. One, two. Ready? <sighs> Now, never play with so little air that the note won't come out. That doesn't count as quiet. That just counts as a, as a missed note. So if you have to make the, the louder louder so you can get the difference in volume, then do that for sure. All right, that is... Pages four and five from the Rubank Elementary, I mean, excuse me, uh, Intermediate Method. And we're going to come back with more on the next video. Until we see you again, keep playing.